probably in better shape than you and my girl's probably higher than you, uh, faggot. Uh, Joe? Yes, sir. You are the winner. <laughs> Whatever you said made him hang up. Nah. What a pussy. Damn, he hung up, yeah. I think when... I think when he found out that it said Matt the douchebag on the pad day, that was it for him. Because yep. he's gone. Couldn't he's gone. Take it. Joe and Philly, well, congratulations. You guys are all welcome. Uh, last two listeners, you're fucking welcome, too. All right, there you go. Joe and uh, Philly. <laughs> Guy on shrooms calling the show first thing in the morning. Yeah. Mm, good for him. Those were the days. Holy shit. How does he have <laughs> plenty of money working on cars? Yeah, I know. Well, he's, you know, it's all and relative. Does he have to work today? He thinks he's, he makes He's 24, he lives in Florida. Whatever he's making, he probably thinks is really good. What does he need? How much money does he really need? Yeah. This Earth. chick is in Spain getting fucking unclipped Spanish fucking... The voozle cock. Rock, running of the bulls, bullhorn cock up her fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> mm. Yeah, maybe he lives off his chick. Or his uh, rich parents. He was able to rattle off some stuff. I, I, I heard some repetition after a while, but we did give him a lot of people to uh, to talk to. So, uh, you know, I think he did a good job. He done good. Yeah, nah. He turned me around. I, I fucking was. I would have hung up on him in the first two seconds, but he, he turned me around. I figured, what the hell? It's nice and early. Yeah, fuck it. Hey, uh, now I want to see the cockroach footage. Yeah, that was funny. Because I was distracted Shit. by Matt. Now, was that a story of them commenting on the cockroach? Or were they no, talking to her? And... It looked like they cropped the the video, so you didn't see the cockroach anymore. Yeah. Why? Why can't you acknowledge that? Holy shit! Uh, there's a huge cockroach climbing up the wall Tell behind her to you. Turn around. Uh, excuse me. Uh, there's a cockroach behind you. Anybody oh. else see that? And and, and do they hear the audio? Because now I need to know more about it. Yeah, if they're talking about cockroach, cockroach. You got it. You got to point out the cockroach. La cockroach. Gotcha. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> Shirley uh, Sherrod, right? Yes, Shirley Sherrod. Good old Shirley Sherrod. A lot of controversy there. Um, a lot of people saying, too, hey, why didn't we talk about it? Uh, it could have ripped her apart at first, and then we would have looked silly. Oh, really? Yeah, apparently she uh, didn't quite say what uh, was edited to look like, what she said, but she's talking about uh, the past and how she overcame certain things, but... Truth of the matter is, I guess she was a racist a few years back. <laughs> so, fuck it. So they got her anyway. Yeah, but then, you know, she turned things around, I guess, and became like a, a, a good uh, woman there uh, who's going to help everybody. She was a little prejudiced, though, the, the, a few years back when she was kind of a community organizer person like Obama used to be. And she was supposed to be helping out uh, farmers and there was a white farmer, and hmm. she wasn't going to help him. But then she realized her mistake because it isn't about color. It's about poverty, and she realized that. Um, but she's got a racist background, I guess, years and years ago. Doesn't everyone? Um, background? Background, <laughs> foreground, foreground, current ground. <laughs> and uh, in that vein, too, old, good old New York's Charlie Rangel. In a little bit of trouble with the ethics committee, mm -hmm. and uh, they're gonna they're gonna charge him, and he says, "Bring it on." That's good. Charlie Rangel's been in trouble forever, and he's constantly using the race card. So can't wait to see how this one pans out. Um, I'm a big fan of our politicians. They're just terrific people all oh, around. Oh, they're always fun. Just watching the corruption and bullshit and lying and did you pocket pocket stuffing of our cash and. Did you see the bullshit photo op that our dumb mayor had the other day in front of a hot dog? Mayor B Bloomberg? Mayor Bloomberg, who's a billionaire. Uh, who, who was it? Was it the British prime minister? They were having a hot dog in front of a, uh, one of those vending carts. Was Bloomberg on his knees eating the hot dog like uh, he's used to? What? Yeah, but I'm just saying, perhaps the guy likes eating a hot dog on his knees. What? What? Uh, they're having a hot dog in front of this vending machine. It's a, it's, it looks like a nice photo op. It's a nice New York moment. So I put some le relish on it and realized it had a face. <laughs> I took a bite out of it and it started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the English <laughs> prime minister said, nah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in honor of Matt, we might have to play that today. Uh, I know dog. we played it recently, but what the hell? We might have to play Hot God Dog Girl. Damn crazy hippie bitch. <laughs> <laughs> can't handle her trip. No. Nothing worse than someone that can't handle their fucking trip. Figure it out. 
So. Fucking get a hold of yourself. It happens, or, or, to, it happens to the best of us. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you had a bad trip? <laughs> Maybe. You ever had a bad trip? <laughs> yes, very bad. Uh, very bad? Yeah, I, I started freaking out once. I, I dropped some acid when I was like 16. A real freak out? Like, yeah, because oh. I, it was just like, it was weird. Like I was hanging out with people that like they weren't my friends. They were like friends of friends. So like I, kinda, right. I was feeling alone anyway. Unfamiliar territory. Yeah, a and, like, alone. And we were, okay. I was in a different neighborhood. Everything was weird. I used to have like uh, really big, like ridiculous hair that I dyed different colors and it was like some kind of orange or yellow and I kept freaking out thinking my hair was on fire and I had no <laughs> idea where I was but I decided like 2 a.m. I was gonna walk home you know and what was like what was the freak out part like how did you feel um I just like I kept grabbing my head like every two seconds and then obviously everybody starts staring at me like what are you doing you know, and then I'm yeah. telling people that I keep thinking my hair is on fire, and then they start so they're pointing and laughing, which oh, isn't helping man, the situation that at all. Doesn't help. No, but, no. Uh, I guess as far as bad trips go, it wasn't. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. Because yeah, I, people end up like in the fetal position, crying and ah, yeah. I don't know I, you gotta I watched, talk them down. I watched a friend of mine uh, one time. We decided to drop acid and go to Shea Stadium. For oh, some that's reason, good. that's yeah. good. Seeing that <laughs> vast <laughs> ocean of people doesn't freak out enough. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, but a friend of mine started to freak out a little bit. And on the way home, I guess he, he carried like a knife in his pocket for some reason. Well, I guess for defense or whatever. And uh, we're walking back home, and he sees a dead cat on the floor. But I guess in his head, he saw his friend Steve, which was <laughs> standing right next to us. <laughs> yeah, meow. <laughs> but he goes, and he just the whole night goes, oh, my God, I killed Steve. I, what am I going to do? And he's like freaking out. And wow, it wasn't like really a bit because it, it went on for hours. And we had to tell him, <laughs> like... You didn't kill anybody. He's right here. And he started, you know, sticking his fingers down his throat to try to make himself throw yeah, up. Yeah, that ain't going to work. Once it, it hits you, yeah, it's it over Johnny. Too late. It's, a bad it's time. over Johnny. That was a bad time. It's in your system. I don't think I ever had a bad trip. I was on the brink of a bad trip, and I, could, I was able to get, rationalize, like, all right, look, fucked up shit. It's yeah. supposed to do this. <laughs> Only you can rationalize. Just relax yourself. In the middle of a trip. That's easier to do on mushrooms than it is on acid, though. Yeah, because mushrooms, yeah. you could actually, you can do that and say, hey, man, you're just bugging out because you took some mushrooms. Took it's some totally fucking cool. shit. You got a weird uh, f fucking medication in acid you. Acid is different. Acid is like, this is never ending. Yeah, this yeah. is the way you're going to be forever. Forever. <laughs> this is eternity. Do I have stitches? <laughs> That's how you end up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking crazy. All right, all right, man. <laughs> Kevin from Connecticut. I watched a jar of mayo melt for forty-five minutes. Yeah. That's, wow. See, that's a cool trip. That's fucking Why gro not? groovy. Why not? Uh, groovy. Matt is back. Uh, quickly, Matt. What did you want to say? Because we're moving on now. Uh, I'm just saying my phone uh, died. I wasn't actually punching out. I'm just saying, big fans. Oh. I'm ever awake again. I'll call you guys sometime. C calling card run out. No, no, I'm good. I pay my phone bill. I'm good. How much do you make a year, Matt? Because people don't think you really have money. No, I mean, I, I'm happy, dude. I made $33,000 last year. I'm happy with that, though. I mean, 24, I 33 grand. Right. He's yeah, got I'm a fucking, like got, got a hot dude, chick, getting I'm... some unclipped fucking Spaniard cock in her. Nice. No, that's fine. I don't give a shit about that. She probably is getting fucked by some fucking Spaniard. I don't care. You should care. I'm just saying. Um, no, I don't, because I'm fucking proud of myself, and... Shit, thirty grand a year for me makes me happy. I support myself, so I'm not even gonna argue that. I remember those days. You thought you were rich, little little fucking uh, slim on the pay when I was that age. You know what though, but, fucking cocksucker. You know what though, you 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 only had a couple bills to pay. That was nice too. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe a car payment bills. and maybe a landlord, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a dumb credit card with with no fucking credit on with it. With no credit left because yeah. you maxed it out yeah, on something so. stupid. <laughs> yeah, well, my credit is shit, but hey, I'm punching out, guys. I just want to let you know I didn't hang up. My phone died, but I got to go, brother. All right, All right, man. Right. Space Trucker, North Carolina. What do you got? Uh, I just wanted to share with you the first time my wife did shrooms. Uh, Colorado, 1975. She had never tried them before. She decides she wants to. We're heading out of town on I-25 from Colorado Springs. We're going past the Air Force Academy, and she's looking east out across the plains, and she says, when did they start that? And I said, what? She said, building those pyramids, and, and they're wearing the little, oh, my God, I got off. Holy shit. She thought they were building fucking pyramids? 
Across from the Air Force Academy. It was, you had to be there. It was funnier. But... Ah. <laughs> space yeah, I trucker. Love, I love a you had to be there story. <laughs> Give me a little space trucker, you fuck, E-Rock. He'll never oh, get it in time. Uh, it's too late now. <laughs> I mean, if Space Trucker calls, you got to have his song, man. I mean, fucking Deep Purple wrote this one for, man. for Space Trucker. Yeah. So tell us more, man. The pyramids, you, you, you had to be there. What happened? I, that was just pretty much it. I had married her young. I had just come back from overseas, and I was leading her astray. I introduced her to weed. And she had never tried mushrooms. We had all been doing them all summer. And yeah. We well, had, uh, set the head for Denver to go to the zoo. And she asks, what do you think? I, uh, I think I'll try them. And this was her first off. Yeah, now. And I, I'll walk the rest of the way to Denver. Now, what is she doing now? You're obviously not together with her, right? 